Welcome to episode two of Discover Harmony Florida. I am Kristen McCary and I'm here with your host, Janine Corcoran. Hi everyone, Janine Corcoran, broker for the Corcoran Connection and resident of Harmony since 2005. And if this is your first podcast that you're joining us for, welcome. Um, This Discover Harmony Florida is a podcast all about Harmony Florida, in case you didn't know. Um, That's right. What's better than Harmony Florida? Yeah. And so for this week, um, we're at the beginning of the month of October 2021. And today we just wanted to talk about all this housing statistics. I mean, this has been 2021 has been a crazy market year. It's it's been absolute. We thought 2020 was insane. 2021 is even more insane. Um, you know, started off the year really. Remember the springtime? I think I had um, not one of the houses here in Harmony, but in our county, I had 60 over 60 offers on it, and that was like at the the peak. It was about April, mm-hmm. around March and April, May were the highest peaks where it's just lines out the door, but. It's definitely not sizzling, but it's still simmering. It's still hot, hot, hot market. That's for sure. Absolutely. And prices are, are you know, definitely, you know, still rise, still high, really. I mean, uh, it seems like we've had continued growth all year um, in the market. And, you know, you may not see nearly as much competition as 60 offers, which can we, you know, even digest that for a second? 60 qualified buyers trying to buy your home. That's crazy. What a, what a time to be a seller and and have a house to sell so yeah, that that was that was the high that was the most offers i had on any given house this this year for sure um but um it's still you know in, in harmony if you're in that sweet spot a sweet spot in harmony um a lot of buyers are looking for of course would be 300 which there aren't many but then 300 to 350 i would say wouldn't you oh for sure if you're in that anything really under just under four maybe 375 and under i feel like is you know, pretty, you know, pretty hot market still, it's going to be easy to get you multiple offers on your on your property. When you start getting into the Fords, I think is when you, you know, start thinning out the herd a little bit. Sure. And then you um, get up to the customs, you know, six, yeah. seven, eight hundred. And then there's less people, but those were even hot. And you know, what's interesting this month is that we didn't have any condos or townhouses that sold. That's interesting. I wonder why yeah, that is. I don't know. It goes like with a wave, I notice. Either that we'll have a month or two where it seems like more condos and townhouses sell, and then we don't have anything. And then, you know, it kind of flips. We always have resales. Def- that's definitely a steady, mm-hmm. I think, the resales. But um, just um, this month, we had 18 single family homes that sold. So no condos, no um, townhouses. But in, and of course, it includes we have, um, I should probably talk about this. We have, a few sections in harmony so we have ashley park which is condos and townhouses and then we have um really the rest of harmony and then all the way on the east side of harmony we have a 55 and older community called the lake so it's south lake and east lake um so we have a little a great great uh dynamic of different people in different ages you know all over i mean there's really a house or some place to live for anybody Absolutely. And I, you know, I I keep pushing this term, you're going to hear me push it a lot, but I keep calling um, the section that both of us actually live in right now is I I call it historic harmony. (laughs) Uh-huh. I, I like the sound of that. I don't know why, but this is the original section of Harmony. And and is there any difference? Do you notice any difference in the in the sales prices or how quickly quickly they sell or for you know any interesting statistics? And the and these statistics are from September 2021, correct? Correct. We only go back a month a month because it just finished and we're at the beginning of October. But what's interesting is because I've been running these market reports for years is that I pulled up 2020 and I thought, wow, that's that's you know, and I always do price per square foot and I said separated by type of home, not type of home, but resales, condos, townhouses, and, and things of that nature. But um, so what's interesting is, and is last year, the pr- average price per square foot was 136.57. And this year, um, it's 164.43. Wow, you know, which is huge. It's, 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 that's a huge difference. Thirty dollars a square foot is a pretty big <laughs> difference when you're talking about two thousand square feet. I know, I know. And then also, um, out of out of the eighteen single family homes that did sell, I, um, fourteen of them sold seven days or less. Right, right. Seven I, days or less. What do you think you attribute to the ones that sit on the market a little bit longer? Do you think that they're like maybe not priced appropriately? Do you think there's something wrong? Like, what do you think is would hold a property in this market from not selling within seven days? So that's great. So depending on what price range, if it's in the hot price range, it's going to go. But then you have the 55 and old I find in the, the lakes that it takes a little bit longer um, to sell 
because I feel like people in that that age group, which I'm in that age group, I can live there. <laughs> um, but they just take their time. You have to think of, well, this may be their last house. And so they're very smart with their money. They're not quick to jump on, on anything. Right. They'll step back, take a look, think about it, come back again, you know, unless it's in a very, very competitive, low, low, you know, price right. range. But um, those could take quite, quite a bit longer. I had, a, I had a house that sat on the market for a while because the owner um, had it was less than two years that he purchased it and he could not, he didn't want to sell it before then and he stuck to his price, like down mm -hmm. to the very end. <laughs> so right. that was an outlier. Right. Um, so that took uh, a little bit longer. Right. Uh, so um, it just really depends. You know, townhouses, condos, um, they don't come up that often. They sell pretty quick because they were selling under that, you know, two, 250 range. Um, the highest house I sold this month was, oh. yes, it's actually one that I sold. This house was a custom home, is a custom home, five bedrooms, five baths, two half baths over 4,000 square feet. It, she, she actually brought the home um, at the end of June and then decided that the house was too big and decided to sell it. So she sold it not even a couple of months later and sold it for um, 679.8. So from 620 and three months later, almost wow. 680. So she, she, at that point, you know, you know, there's closing costs on, on both sides when you're buying and selling. So, I mean, she pretty much like that was, that's incredible to make in that short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So what's that? Three months? months? Yeah. <laughs> three months. That's incredible. Three months. And her concern was, I just bought it for this amount. You know, can I, you know, can I get into selling, get into something smaller, which we do. We actually found a house in, in the lakes that yeah. fit it perfectly, a little bit smaller, single story. But, um, but yeah, no, I have had appraisers call me about that and said, you know, what did she do? And I was like, well, nothing other than I thought maybe the price of the house when she did buy it was a little bit lower right right and and i mean listen and i don't want to toot my own horn but i have to say the marketing on that house was pretty top notch <laughs> yeah for sure for sure in case uh, those of you that don't know chris in studio 913 <laughs> yeah um the other thing i was really surprised about so out of all those homes okay because you you might not know this stat because i probably didn't tell you but how many do you think sold for cash so okay, we, had wait, eight, wait, we had eight we had 18. Okay, there were 18. How many of them were under 375? Mm, let's see. Uh, one, two, th not many. I have to look. I, I don't have them in, in price order. 375, one, two. It, well, including Harmony West? Well, you want me to separate them out? If, if they're, they're separated, separated, are they part, part of the 18? They're part of the 18. Okay, I'm going to say at least nine. Okay, nine out of the 18, so that would be 50%. 50%. I would have thought so, too. I really, I mean, we have so many investors coming in here and buying um, cash because, and they're putting the rental prices like outrageous. A third, six. I was, really? Okay, okay. So Were they all ours? <laughs> I know, I feel like they were. I feel like because we get the sweet spot and the investors come in, but, but, okay, so that's a third. This one I bet you don't get. How many do you think were FHA and or VA? Oh, like next to, I feel like next to nothing. Now, you know, normally when you're you're ranking the types of, um, you know, financing or whatever, you know, VA used to be the most stringent. And I feel like they're actually like loosening up because they really want their veterans oh, to get to homes. Yeah, I love VA. I know. So, so they've been they've been fantastic the past couple of years with like really helping their buyers get into places. So um, I don't know. I feel like, OK, if, if we take out historic harmony, because I feel like, you know, in, in an historic harmony, you're getting to that to that age range in the homes where they're all starting to need new roofs. So unless you get one with a new roof, it's going to be harder to get an FHA um, loan on it. So I don't know. I'd probably say maybe 25 percent. OK, well, uh, um, not quite. But well, it depends on if you want to if you want to group them together. FHA and VA took a third. So it's basically even. It's six, six and six. Wow. Conventional six cash six and then FHA and VA split right down the middle three and three which I think is great because I haven't been seeing a lot of um no VA probably because I had some of the VA buyers I was surprised with FHA and I'm really happy because I really felt like all the FHA buyers because typically uh, for those of you who don't know an FHA buyer would be a first-time home buyer typically not typically the credit score can be lower mm -hmm. so three and a half percent down and so that's, right they don't have the cash yeah they don't have the cash it's harder for them, especially, um, you know, in the market, we, in the peak of it, when you're going up against all these offers, um, you know, you're having to 
say how much you're willing to go above the appraised value of the home. I mean, really, if you're if you're financing, that's one of the biggest strategies that you're going to run into trying to win some of these um, bids. And so I feel like with FHA buyers, they don't always have that cat. They're usually like every dollar is accounted for and they don't have that cash to put down to, to pay above appraised value on houses. And so I do, I mean, like for me, I, I've been looking to buy a home all year and I can't find one. I just, I can't find, if anybody has a beautiful 3000 square foot home <laughs> with a, maybe a three car garage, that'd be really nice. I have, I have a teenage driver now. We need to get the cars in the garage. Um, that would be great. You can reach out to me at K at studio 913.com. I'd love to come by your house. Yeah. Um, that's a good but, plug. We talked yeah, about that. We did. Yeah. So I just, um, you know, it's, it's been really difficult for me and, you know, d- buying into the and market you're not, now. you're not FHA. You'd be conventional. Um, I'd be conventional, but still it's hard to even find the house in uh, harmony. It's just, there's no inventory. It's just very, very, you know, very low in- inventory. Guess what? Okay. Guess what you could buy in harmony folks. You want to know what you could buy in harmony under 250 and under? Um, a grass plot of land. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of, first of all, your your townhouses and your condos you will fall under that, but we didn't have any sales this month, but we did have one um, house particular. Okay, and it was over on Goldflower. It's a three bedroom, two bath, 16, 17 square feet, built in 2004, and that one sold for under 250. How cool wow. is that? That is cool. So wait, it was 1,600 square feet and it sold for 250? Yeah, so let me find the, as you talk about something else, I'm gonna find that, because <laughs> I wrote it and I didn't write the address. I was like, okay, which one are you, Goldflower? Right. Yeah. That's crazy. So that's an interesting stat. I didn't think that there was anything that low, um, you know, in harmony. I even just recently um, sold my brother's house on Cup Seed, the corner of Cup Seed, about 1,700 square feet, and that went for 297.5. Um, so that's crazy that it that there was one under 250. Somebody got a real steal, whoever that is. Okay. All right. You're going to kill me. That was last year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that is over low. Okay, so last year for 250. That's really bad. I got to yeah. do that part of it, don't I? Last year. No, this is a podcast. There's no cuts in podcast. Oh, my God. I, I knew that was going to happen. So I have two sheets in front of me, one 2020, one 2021. And I actually highlighted um, on Goldflower last year for 250, um, 16. Yeah, you can't get any houses under. No, under, yeah. Like, I mean, you know, the... The one on Cup Seed was even, you know, it, it needed a new roof. It, it had the original AC, and this is a, this is a 2004. That, so. Yeah, and other than, I mean, there were a couple over in Harmony West, which, you know, I pulled out. But um, on Cup Seed, yeah, that, that was the lowest, 297.5. And it was a little bit higher. It was over 300, right? And that was a cash investor. And what happened with that? Um, they just came back. The the age of the roof, um, obviously, even though they knew about the age of the roof, but it did have the original AC. Um, there were some additional uh, repairs that needed to be done. So we came back and met in the middle at 297.5. So they still got, um, you know, an incredible amount for their home, much higher than what I had kind of prepped them to expect. Um, which was good. I kind of like to set my expectations low and then exceed them. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, it, you know, in the in the lakes. Okay, so now lakes was switching back to the east side of Harmony, which is 55 and older. There were a couple of houses that just went under two uh, three hundred. Now in the lakes, the difference with that is um, different fees out there. You know, because they're given so much. They have you know the, their own private you know clubhouse pool. Um, activity room they have tennis they have pickleball they get all that plus what we get in harmony but they have it in their fees they you know right now about 355 a month they don't pay monthly pay quarterly but so then um some of the smaller houses you know actually did sell into 300 so that's that's kind of cool right so if you're over 55 you can buy a house under 300 and if you're under 55 i'm sorry (laughs) (laughs) exactly and you know what even in the ones i have we have listed now the the same small size now they're over 300 already so i don't think we're going to be seeing anything really even in, at the lakes under 300 right. and i bet you next month when we pull stats it's going to be all over 300 right and you know it's kind of crazy because we were talking about this the other day that um you really didn't have many listings in september um, we were really shocked because you know we got together the end of september to do a video for a new listing and neither one of us could remember how to do it. 
uh, because, it, <laughs> because it had been 22 days since your last listing. So, I mean, I, I'm curious to see what the sold numbers are because I don't feel like there was a lot of inventory last month and I'm sure they, and I know they've all sold cause I watched the market, but you know, I, I'm curious to see what October's numbers are because there's just, there hasn't really been a, not, a lot on the market. Yeah. And, um, and, and I think it's neat to, to see what's selling, you know, last year compared to this year. Right? Right. I always like, like those stats and, and just the fact that, you know, we had 14 sold in under seven days is, is craziness. I know. Craziness, craziness. That is, that is insane. And so, do um, you have any other cool statistics from Harmony or Osceola County as a whole, or anything like that? Yeah. So our associate, Os- Osceola Association of Realtors. Oh, did I, just, hello. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee. Anyway, um, Osceola County Association of Realtors actually gives us our stats, and they they haven't put up September's yet, but they I did pull, I did pull um, August for the single um, uh, family homes, and what what I found interesting is um the amount their meet their medium um so that's in all of osceola county for 21 2021 was 358 compared to the medium price last year at 285 700. that is nuts that's incredible i mean if you just think about the the increase if you're sitting in a home that you bought a year or two ago mm-hmm. if you have another place to go, which I think is the biggest challenge, right? For most sellers, they're, they're hesitant to put their house on the market because they don't know they're, where, where do they go next? Right. But if you have a place to go, um, now is the time to sell. Oh my gosh. Like mm-hmm. you're sitting on a ton of equity. Absolutely. Um, I, I had a family that they, they sold their house in harmony and they went into a short-term rental just because they didn't want the pressure of house contingencies and they're like, okay, we're in a short-term rental, and it's outside of Harmony. We don't have short-term rentals in Harmony, but um, they're waiting for the house, you know, to come on. Right. That's a that's a great strategy. I mean, I can't imagine that you'd spend too much. You know what I mean? Like no, waste they, too much. Yeah. Of that. Well, they they were ready. They wanted new furniture with the house and all that, so they just kept minimal minimal items and and moved in. But you know, they they were also not a big family. Yeah, I can imagine if you have pets and you have children, that's hard temporarily do that right. even though we've had other families do that too but um but that is a solution if you don't want the stress because i know it is a lot of stress it is. It is. it's a lot of stress even for us the pressure to be you know oh we have a contract now we're homeless until we find something right. i mean over a year ago um when we moved um the donnelly family into the lakes the same thing was happening we sold the house in Kissimmee to come to the come to the lakes and there was nothing on the market for them to buy right. and literally every day we just like I said, have faith, have faith. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. It did. And it did. And then someone um, it came back on the market as a back on the market type thing. And I jumped all over it. And right. that was a house I bought. That's I think they awesome. made 213000 <laughs> <laughs> That one's over three now, I'm right. sure. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they have a beautiful home. I've seen it before. But yeah, that's it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's definitely a different market. Um, do you see any potential? I mean, you know, I know there's opinions all over the board, but do you see any any changes coming or do you think we're kind of in this pattern for a little while or what everything you... the experts are saying is that it's not going away anytime soon anytime soon meaning within the next year so um for a while there i mean it has to flatten out at some point it doesn't go up 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 forever i mean it's, it's a lot like the stock market you know it goes up and then flat and goes up and flat so the the new low is always coming up you know that's how the stock market works too so um but even when I was speaking to Barbara Corcoran, my sister, she, she, right, this is probably three months ago, I said, what the heck's going on? And that was right after I did the, the 60 offers, and she said, it's, it's not going away for a good year, year and a half, you right. know, so, um, yeah, I think we're in this for, because there's no inventory, there's no builders can't build fast enough. Right. right, and not for lack of trying, I feel like there's a new community going up every day in St. Cloud, but, you know, that's not harmony. <laughs> no, and, and we don't even have any new construction other than in the lakes. We do have a new community coming up, and they're they're far behind building waiting on supplies, and that's uh, the Enclave. So that's a gated community out by the lakes, but that's brand new. I mean, I think the first six or eight houses just started. Right. And when I reached out to them the other day, I had a buyer that's that's been looking for a home in a similar situation to myself, and um, they actually said that they had specked out the remaining lots. Like, so they're close to being sold out and they haven't even put the first one up yet. So it's, you know, it's... 
Yeah, and they're, and they're all nice lots out there. Right. right. Yeah, they, they they gave me prices of three the other the other day, but like you said, the models that were going on there are already picked. Right. right. Yeah, so it's not like you could say, oh, I like this model, can you build it? Sorry. Right. right. Yeah. And they picked their structural options, too, so I hope you like gourmet kitchens. I mean, who doesn't want a gourmet kitchen unless you don't cook? So, but anyway, that's interesting. Well, that's all great statistics, and, um, you know, I mean, I think that's, that's great. You put these on your website, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So if you just go to our website and look on the communities and pick Harmony, when you open the first page, you'll see a tab, a little bubble that says Harmony Reports. So awesome. if you want to be put on a mailing list too, that's always an option. I do, I do, e I do email and post and let, other, let the residents know that, hey, your report's out, but they got to have some good stats. Right. Absolutely. And I mean, if you're, you have a home to sell in Harmony and would like a free valuation on your home, I mean, Janine would be more than happy. Absolutely. It doesn't hurt to find out what your home's worth. Um, people do that all the time. I actually get people that call Harmony and they'll say, um, Janine, I want to pay off my CDD because I'm thinking of selling my home. I'm like, okay, you know, well, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> so um, appraisers don't give any more value for that. So the now question is, what's a, what's a CDD? I guess people might not know what that is, other than the people that live here. But it actually is a, an extra tax on your bill, and it pays for our amenities, which is well worth it. Because otherwise we have, because of the amount of amenities we have, I think we would definitely um, be paying like a three fifty four hundred dollars a month HOA. Right. And, and just so you know, I mean, that's, you know, what's our HOA on average? It's anywhere the lowest is about sixty two dollars. That's a year. a year, yes, a year. And though that's that's the um condos and townhouses, but then it you know, it could be I I think the it goes by lot size, so you have the bigger if you're taking a bigger footprint like in the custom estate homes, um you could be up around two hundred a little over two hundred, but not, not a year. A year. Still, Still a year. Right. <laughs> so what's that average out to? A cup of coffee a month. Yeah, so you know? so it's really just the C D D pays for all the amenities, including the boats and you know, we have right. so many amenities here, so Right. Well, that's awesome. We'll have to do a whole podcast on CDDs because, you know, a lot of people always call and they're like, well, how much longer do I have left? And what's the difference between the operation and maintenance and the bond portion and all that kind of good stuff? So there's a lot of great information. And with Janine having been here for so mm -hmm. long, um, she has a wealth of knowledge on that. So we'll definitely um, add that into our podcast rotation. If you have any other questions about Harmony that you'd like answered, uh, please reach out to us. Let us know. We'd be happy to answer those questions for you. And then just a quick reminder, um, since we are in October and I feel like the events kick up um, this week. That's um, coming up. So on October um, 16th is the Harmony Resident Party uh -huh. at the Town Square. So I'm super excited about that one. Um, if you are in Harmony and you have a golf cart, be getting it ready because that's coming up at the end of the month um, on the 29th. So don't miss out on that. You're going to want to um, either participate or, ha you know, sit, sit around and watch. Um, I've noticed a lot of Halloween decorations going up. I'm super excited. I know. <laughs> you have that big giant, how big? How many? 12 foot skeleton. 12 foot skeleton. Oh my goodness. He needs a spotlight on him though. He does. He has a red one. He comes on at night. Oh, okay. It's nice and red. I don't know if you haven't, if you haven't been there, you'll have to come by and see him. Um, but we have more to do. We're, we're still a little sparse. So, um, but if you have any questions, reach out to us. I think it'd be a fun time. Thanks again for joining us for episode two of Discover Harmony Florida. And we'll talk to you soon.